What is up, Flock? Phoenix Hill here, and welcome back to the Farming Sim 22 Mod Spotlight. Today, we're going to be checking out a map. It's called Great Western Map. Let me double check that. Hold on. It is called Great Great <laughs> Great Western Farms. So this is the start off. This is where you spawn in at. Is that horse saddles on? The, it is. Has that always been? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't remember it though. If it has been, this is a nice little farm or nice little, little yard you got set up here. It's not bad. I like it. I like it a lot actually. Uh, ten out of ten. Wouldn't live here again. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out this map a little bit. Uh, so it looks like our this is actually a pretty nice. I do say so myself. You got a random. Can you, you can't do anything. Else. So it's just. A random. That's pretty neat. How it looks like the the trees grown up through. That's actually pretty cool. If you ask me. Um, what is over here? Let's go ahead and make our map smaller. So, oh wow, you get a pretty decent chunk of land for a starter farm. That's not bad. Look at all this over here. All right. You can't go in there. Okay. Can you go in here? No. All right. It's against the rules. Alright. Oh dang. You get you start off with a pretty good decent lot. Alright. Let's go ahead and hop in the truck though, actually. That's not the truck. There we go up this map here a little bit so we're just over there that's that's part of our land this also appears to be part of our land with some, we've got a bunch of bale storage here we got some cows right next to our farms. I guess these are all shops here it's like like it I'm just slam into the gas tank there is that gas Propane. Propane, propane accessories. Yeah, hey, you got, okay, you got a pretty big chunk of land here. You got some chickens out there too. What's out this way? There's more out this way. I don't think you own this one. Okay, this is the shop here. Some nice low poly models, you know, that are not going to kill your frames whenever you go to pick something up from the shop. John Deere, you love to see it, you love to see it. That road does not continue, right? Yeah, no, okay, it doesn't. Why does it look like this is like a trailer? Anyone else seeing that? Yeah, let's go this way. I love how the road looks so muddy there. That's actually pretty cool. Why? This is giving me like Michigan vibes. Cause you remember how in 19 it was like the whole, like all the cell points were all put on one side, like all, all the way at the top of the map. This is, this is giving me fresh produce. Oh. We got animals there, so I guess that's like a place you can purchase. Where am I? Yeah, you can purchase that. All right, that's cool. This is a cell point, I'm guessing. Like a cell point and purchase, I'm guessing. I'm wondering, like, because this is, I mean, the store looks like a town, but it's very, uh, odd. Okay, this is, I get, you, you get in like a, you go from like industrial right into mailbox down, just a random 
kind of like a little rural house road, or rural road with houses on it, I guess you could say. It's a bit weird of a layout, I'm not even gonna lie. Okay. What's that? Oh, production. Okay, so we have purchase supplies, debris crusher, riverside feed and seed. And these are our production points. Brewing company, grain mill, grape processing, mad cow creamery, biodiesel refinery. That's a cell point. We have cell points up here. Text, Western textiles, cell point. Okay. Why are you stopped? I get the people behind me, but why are you stopped? And you got plenty of open land if you want to add other productions, so that's a plus. So points that way. Production still. Our gas station. What the heck is that? What is that? Industrial bakery. I don't know. We have a little loop for houses. Not bad. Okay. It's a it's a very disjointed downtown feel, but it it does give that vibe. So that's it's not. My favorite downtown we've seen on maps, but it's not horrible. And again, we have plenty of open room out here if we want to expand. By you know, like, if you want to build a farm out here, this is all viable, right? Yep, yeah, it's all viable. So if you want to put land out here, if you just want to buy it, cut down these trees and set up um, production stuff, that's all an option as well. I missed what that was back there. Over here we had. Ooh, is that a tunnel? We can we actually go through it? I'm gonna say no. It's not gonna let us go past this, is it? Nope. Okay. That's a nice little pond there, though. Diverter. Oh, the bridge goes over the train. The train depot there. So okay. Sunflower oil, olive oil, band shed back in there, carpentry. Again, plenty of room. I like it. It's supposed to be an orchard of some sort because these are all like perfectly spaced. Yeah, American fruit orchards. I ain't saying I'm a genius, but I'm a smart filler. Look at that. Alright. Look at this massive thing over here. Good lord. What did I say? Is that just a big open space? No, that is just lime. Okay. This place is massive. Holy crap. Alright. I at least turn somewhere up here? Choo choo train? Nope. I wanna know what's out here. Why is there a combine sitting out here? Okay, we have a sawmill right around. Can I drive over that? I would imagine so, right? I'm almost drove in the water. Oh, that's a uh, forestry, a logger, which very well could be. It's odd that it's sitting out here already. It's 
we got a nice little logging area too, that's not bad. Skirt. Yep, that's what it is. Alright. They got me. Ye oh, sugar honey iced tea. Just lost it over the hill. I'm gonna go this way. Let's see what's over here. Before we end it. Fields are decent size as well. All square though. We're looking for, for some funky shaped oh, greenhouses. Alright. Alright, I think I've seen enough uh, to give it a a, uh, a rating. There's some more water out here. Alright, so I actually kind of like this. It doesn't have an extreme amount of detail, um, and the downtown feel is a little just kind of tossed together. It doesn't it doesn't flow very good, if you ask me. Um, but it's still nice to have all that in there, and there's plenty of room to expand. Plenty of productions also already on the map, which uh, you don't see very often. Usually, I have a couple productions here and there uh, to have a whole. Over, and it looks like some of them are custom. Like there are some, uh, like a brewing company and all that that we don't have. I'm not gonna make it. Nope. Okay. So there's like a brewing company we don't have. Uh, bio diesel refinery textiles so there's some stuff that we don't sugar and molasses stuff that we don't actually see in um, like the default stuff so that that's a huge plus I the only drawback is I really wish that like uh, this area here maybe they made it all residential and moved some of the which I'm pretty sure you could sell this stuff right So you can't sell a grain mill. Hmm. It would be nice to sell, be able to sell some of the stuff, and just like make a full-blown uh, residential area, and then move the the production stuff over on the side where like the gas station is. That have been uh, a plus for me, but it's still very nice. I will give it a five out of five. I I could see myself playing on it. And just kind of redoing parts of the town and stuff like that. Uh, but that was going to do it for me for today, guys. If you guys did enjoy today's video, be sure to leave a like down below. It does help me out so very, very much. And I do appreciate it so very, very much. If you guys do want to see future Farming Simulator 22 Mod Spotlights, be sure to click that subscribe button. If you guys want to be notified whenever I do go live or upload a video, click that notification bell. As always, guys, thank you so very, very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Fresh Produce Outlet.